Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. Today in this video we are going to take a look at Ishin EX100 FPV proximity or FPV racing quadcopter. Now I don't know if we should call them FPV racing quadcopters or FPV proximity quadcopters or should we call them mini quadcopters or micro quadcopters. Because of their size in between mini and micro and their purpose, you can fly them indoors, you can fly them outdoors, you can do FPV proximity or you can simply race with your friends if they have the similar type of quadcopters without worrying to break uh, much of the parts when you crash but we have to see but we have to see if those brushed motors and the propellers which are just you know pressed down on the motor shafts will stay on the shafts or not all right so let's quickly unbox the ex100 from ishin bnf for free sky that's what i ordered from Bangalore because i have a terra this radio now and i'm loving it already since i started using it i'm simply loving it anyway so this is how the quadcopter comes inside the box there isn't much to see actually so what we're gonna do is just put everything outside the box take a look at the quadcopter and its components talk about a bit talk about the quadcopter a bit and then set it up with Tyrannis right away and fly it right here indoors now before we go ahead the only thing I wish they would be developing now is tiny HD cameras that we can put on it so reviewers like us we don't have to post those crappy standard definition DVR videos so manufacturers in China if you're listening we need tiny lightweight HD cameras for these tiny micro quadcopters now all right here is the Ishii EX100 right outside the box when it comes to unboxing I got the spare propellers one battery some velcro strip velcro sticky sticky velcro uh, tape and of course one USB charger and don't forget an EX100 Ishin BNF to free sky with FPV system and everything installed on this quadcopter. Now let's take a look at the now let's take a look at the quadcopter itself. Okay, so first off when we look at the frame itself, it's kind of disappointing because the construction of the frame is so fragile and all these design cut into carbon fiber leaving so thin little bars here. This is a frame which will break very very easily and last time when I received an EX100 I had to ask for a replacement because one of the arm was already like fatigued and going to break. Uh, due to packing and shipping abuse anyway, so Anyway, so the first thing that is disappointing is frame come on. What's up with this frame? Why such kind of frames? Why can't you just go with ducted fans or you know guarded blades because flying this one indoors once you start hitting the objects once these propellers start flying away then you cannot even glue them they will always fly away during the flight even and you will be crashing so often so why Ishin? why like that you could easily guard the propellers you could easily build a frame which was which is tough and really durable and all the propellers are properly guarded or ducted and then you will have a winner in your hands so yes, when it comes to the frame and the construction of the frame, I'm really, really not happy. It's very fragile and it is very easy to break. Now the other annoying thing is, if you put this strap inside here and look at the construction of the frame on top, here in the middle it's wider. So it is very difficult to actually strap the battery properly. If you do strap the battery, uh, during the flight eventually the strap will move forward making the battery loose and come off during the crashes. Or uh, during any hits so this is a very very bad design on the frame itself personally I do not like this design personally they should have provided a better way now if you want to stick the battery of course with a velcro sticky tape which works but again having the construction of the frame like this the whole frame is cut where are you going to stick your velcro tape it's always and very easily often comes off when you take the battery off it just 
it sticks to battery and comes off. So yes, construction of the frame is uh, disappointing. Apart from that, it has a brushed uh, F3 EVO flight controller. It has a nice powerful motors and it has a 25 milliwatt all-in-one FPV system with 800 TV line camera. All right, so setting it up should be very, very easy. Let me now go ahead and set it up with my Tyrannis radio and take you all together with me and show you how I'm setting it up, what are my PID settings and stuff like that. And we'll fly it right away. Okay, let's set up this uh, tiny EX100. All right, first off, this is my Terranis setup. All right, uh, we will go into the setup EX100. First, I need to bind it. Okay, so to bind it, I will see which mode we will bind at. Most probably, it will bind on D16 or D8. So I will keep it right here. All right and power on the quadcopter while pressing and holding the button on there and then turn it uh, turn the radio transmitter bind on so this is a little tricky let us try to find that button first where are you button right there okay press and hold and power on the quadcopter. Okay, leave. And now I will hit the bind button and we will see that this green LED. Okay, now I will put the radio to bind. Nothing happened. Okay, I will change to D8 bind all right green LED went off wonderful so I will exit bind okay and power it on power it off and power it on and the green LED is solid this means we have the binding done now let's go to the clean flight setup and see if our radio and receiver is working. Quad is connected. Okay. All right, the quad is connected and on the screen you can see when I move the quad, the image moves, I mean the artificial horizon and everything. So first thing I will do is hit the calibrate accelerometer, all right? And after that, we will go to the port. Serial RX is mentioned. Okay, let's go to the receiver. RX Serial S bus is mentioned. And my pitch is working. My roll is working properly. My yaw is working properly. My throttle works properly. My aux 1 works properly. And my aux 2 works properly. So that was piece of cake. Everything works just perfectly it was like already set up for us now when we go to the inputs and mixer you can see my setup easily I have throttle aileron elevator rudder SC and SF on 5 and 6 all right I have uh, channel 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 I have SC and SF okay so this is my mixer setup nothing much to do and everything is working right so what we will do now is go to the modes and add range. We will add uh, range on aux 2 to arm the motors and disarm the motors. So here it is arm and when I put this switch up it is disarmed. Alright, wonderful. So I always keep this switch because it is very very easy for me to disarm the motors very quickly. Okay, then we will add angle, horizon, and do we have air mode? Ooh, we have air mode. On this quad, air mode? Come on. Anyway, I'll add the air mode to go all the way to the right. I mean, when the switch C is down, angle when switch C is up. Okay, and in the middle will be horizon. So save. Now we are in angle. Let's check. Horizon. And where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Air mode! Alright! Horizon, angle, arm, everything is working. 
Okay, so everything is working here. Now let me see. Um, what else do I need to change? RC rate, ooh, 0.91. Ooh, that is a lot of rate here. Anyway, let's go to the PID tuning. Oh, what is this? 130, 120 on roll and pitch, and derivative is 90. Roll rate, pitch rate, 1. Ooh. Anyway, maybe because it's a brushed quadcopter, a brushed motor, that's why. So anyway, that was all to configure, nothing else to configure. Quadcopter setup is done, disconnect. Okay, so that was it for the unboxing. I talk about the Ishin EX100, my Tyranny setup and my Clean Flight setup. Mostly I'm just going with the stock PIDs and taking it from there after I fly it first time and then I start tweaking. So now, the rest of the thing, the cables are hanging very, very loose on the bottom, so I will just add some little, little zip ties, no, just little tapes. Ishin did not actually bother to secure them properly, they just put this kind of little tape which comes off really, really easily. Look, it's right here in my hand, it doesn't even stick anywhere. So, alright, so I will just go ahead and secure all this, uh, find a way to secure the battery, and we will have flights right away here at home. Nobody's home, I'm alone. I can actually fly it around. No, 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 no. Mm.
Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.